I ran out and I had to stick some more in there and it's I figured I saw it not extruding the God bless America. Okay, I had to clear out a jam when I was trying to feed in the new filament, so we'll see if it's gonna work here. I can restart the print. Feels like it's gonna uh oh. oh. <laughs> So if I hit unpause or restart, it should go back to where it was. Oh, I forgot about this part. I'm sure this is going to work. Now I must be very careful because this blade is very thin at the edge, so don't want to screw that up. But I did glue it down pretty good compared to the uh, AR lower, which I screwed up. What in the world? <laughs> oh, that's funny. It actually printed on there. I had trouble printing another logo uh, that I was doing for somebody else as kind of a little surprise, but this one worked, wouldn't you know it? I wasn't able to put a typical edge. I had to, you know, like a chisel, a bevel blade, you know, wedge. If I can get a good look at that. So that's pretty cool looking really. You could do like prototype uh, you know blades. You could do your design and print it and send it to some, a knife maker. I just drew this one just I just, you know, drew it in SketchUp. No template or anything. Of course, it's kind of rough back here. You know, the shape's kind of weird, but it, it works. So you must be asking yourself, will it cut paper? Let's find out. If I can even get started. Let's give it a fine chance. We'll let it, we'll get it started for it. Well, <laughs> not too bad. Camera didn't want to stay focused. Seems to work better if you just keep going. There we go. <laughs> I guess it's more like a tear <laughs> than a cut, but it's still kind of cool, you know. You could you can still see. I can get the light on it, right? You can still see that it actually has a profile. Alright, well, I think I can call that a success, even though I had to stop the printer and restart it. Look, it's Damascus on the back. <laughs> Maybe this will work. Oh, yeah.